Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3.52 p.m. here on the East Coast, Eastern Standard Time, uh, with uh, minutes left in trading on September 13th, news day. And uh, although news was bearish, in my interpretation at least, um, we went up. Um, go figure. So uh, I'm, at least I'm consistent because uh, I've been wrong all week. I sold on Monday too early. I sold I, my long. I on Tuesday I sold for almost bar barely better than break even. My other long, and after I sold those longs, of course, we rode past 49. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, not only that, but I jumped into my short before we cracked 49, and uh, and then again afterwards. So let me let me break it down for you. So as planned, um, I uh, I was looking to buy short um, at a price of 48.70 was you know attractive enough already, and that's what we were opening, give or take 10 cents. Um, I had to be a little bit patient, but ultimately got in at 48.75 right before it jumped up to 48.86 ahead of news. Um, that was the high before news came out. Um, we uh, then proceeded to both go up and come down considerably. Um, first, we went down to 48.52. It looked like that's the direction we were going to take. Um, but I was waiting to see actually up for a dip below 48.50 to confirm that. And of course, that never happened. We went right back up and just kept on going. And right now, with minutes left to closing, we are closing at new highs, 49.38 as I speak, which is the high of the day. So I bought uh, before news at 48.75, and then I uh, waited patiently for about an hour and a half or so to get a second HOD, that's the Horizon Bear ETF, um, which you can find out more about on their site here. Um, it's Beta Pro. And uh, I waited rather patiently, about an hour and a half, like I said, um, to get in on the Bear um, ETF at a crude price of 49.35. Um, which is a bit on the aggressive side. I'd like to see a slightly bigger gap between positions, um, but I mean, it's already 60 cents difference, um, and I felt good about both positions. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not regretting anything. It sucks to be wrong, of course, but uh, I like my situation thus far. And, uh, you know, the closer we get to that 52 price point, uh, the better that... Uh, long position that I've been holding for practically forever um, is looking. So uh, you can see that here, it's 147 days over, 147 days that I've been holding that 52 long position. So we'll see, maybe we go past 50 tomorrow. Um, what did you guys think of today's news event and the consequences thereof? Are we heading to 50? Are we going to be making new highs tomorrow? Let me know in the comments below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, etc. Until then, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers. Bye.